Hey, what's going on, folks? Mr. Mom, wanted to spend a couple minutes with you and roll something out because there's something on my brain today that I'm thinking about, and it's really inspired by one, the 40 long which I'm doing a little bit of maintenance on as we speak. And two, just some dialogue that I've had on uh, like Instagram and over YouTube and stuff with a few of my subscribers and just fellow fellow fish tank people. Um, and some people have been like just kind of, I don't know, down about their aquascapes, frustrated with, you know, they're trying to scape and it's not coming out the way they want it to. And, you know, let me start off by saying people, this is not the scape for this tank that I envisioned in my brain when I started out. Um, and that's rarely the case. I mean, none of us are a mono, unless he's watching my videos, which is great. But if not, we're not a mono. We don't, you know, escape a tank once with all top of the line, you know, submerged growth plants, and then, you know, pay a crew of 20 people in our gallery of awesomeness to take care of our tanks for us. That's not gonna happen, so. Um, what I can say and you know the best advice that I try and live by is just let nature take its course you know when I scape a tank I try and get the hardscape down which is the rock work which you know is fair in this tank it's a dece I agree with it um, but the plantings you know they're gonna figure themselves out you know for instance you know I threw this uh, compact high grow in here a couple weeks ago when I you know when I replanted this tank and it looked like dog piss you know you had all this immersed growth you know leaves on it and everything it's still got a few on there um, you know you can tell it's just it's nutrient deficient and everything else it's just it's immersed growth stuff that you know most of us have to get when we buy plants unfortunately just the way it is but you can see in the middle of it, it's starting to get wicked it's starting to fill in as I imagined it you know I kind of knew what compact high grow was going to do some plants I don't know what they're going to do though like these micro swords to be honest with you guys I've never really run micro swords before honestly you know and giving them a real hearty effort although there is some runners back there but to be honest with you I'm not sure if I agree with the way that they're looking and if I don't like the way something looks guys I'm not afraid to go ahead and rip that out of there and, and try something else and do something new because um, just because I want the micro swords to grow in and look awesome and fill in all these areas that you know that are bare that I wanted to fill in doesn't mean that that's what they're going to do. They're going to do whatever they want to do. And uh, you know some tanks, or I'm sorry, some plants do better in your tanks than other plants will too. You know you'll have some plants that will flourish like the high grow for instance, you know, and then you'll put another plant in there that won't do good for you at all. Or it might do good for one person, like for instance, I can get high grow pinnatophyta to grow in my 40 long. Um, my sister, she gets the same high grow pinnatophyta in basically the same tank that I have, same setup, same light, same CO2, same substrate, but yet hers dies and doesn't grow. So, I don't know, tell me what the difference is, I can't tell you, but, um, what I can tell you guys, just have patience with your scapes. Let it, you know, don't be so so uh, hard line about, oh, this is what it's got to look like because this is what it looks like in my brain. And if it doesn't look like what it looks like in my brain, then it's a failure because that's not true, people. Um, no matter what they look like, you could just throw random plants in like I've done down here and just kind of toss them in there haphazardly. And it's still going to look 100 times better than any hot pink kabamba or purple, you know, uh, Ludwigia that you can put in there fake plant wise so just have fun guys put the plants in there when you get a immersed growth crap you know like the sawtooth hygro which you know looks wicked right now I mean look at that stuff and while I'm on the subject I ordered some of this stuff people it's going to be in the store this week so if you've been looking for the sawtooth hygro I'm going to have it check in the store tomorrow on Thursday it's going to be there people it's going to be there, and I'm going to hook it up. But this is what it's going to look like when I ship it out. You're going to get this, immersed growth. You're going to get immersed growth garbage, and that's just the way it is. Um, but, yeah, give it a few weeks. You know, put it under some good light. Give it some CO2. Give it a little bit of love, and that's what you're going to get. And then, you know, you can play with it. So run a little long, guys. Just wanted to, you know, tell you to have some patience. I am. I hate the way the scape looks, but we're going to keep working it. And, uh it's going to run its course, people. So that's what we do. Tell me what you think about that, guys. Like I said, the, the, the store is completely full. So get in there and check out the plants. If you're interested in that, you know where to go. J Flesh Tanks, Mr. Mom Tanks. Thanks for your time, guys. Peace.